All right, so for the first demo, I have a regular hair dryer and a regular ping pong ball. I'll turn the hair dryer on and then place the ping pong ball inside and we will see what happens. You can see the ping pong ball is contained in this column of air right above the hair dryer. The Bernoulli principle states that when you have a fluid flowing, specifically it's what we call an incompressible fluid. Air is not really incompressible, but it still works for this explanation because the speed that we're blowing out of this dryer is not very high, right? When you have a fluid flowing, when the, when the fluid is moving rapidly, then the internal pressure of the, of the molecules inside is actually lower. So once we blow air all the way around this ball, then the air is moving rapidly on both sides of the ball. And because it's moving rapidly, there's low pressure where the air is moving. And since there's air to the side of the ball that's not anywhere near, uh, not moving, that is higher pressure. So Bernoulli principle states, when a fluid is moving, the pressure is lower. Repeat that. When the fluid is moving, the pressure is lower. And since uh, we have this ball here and the fluid is moving all in all directions around this, this ball, the pressure is lower all the way around it. So because the pressure is lower, the outside pressure, which is higher, is pushing in to the ball in all dimensions. All right, and now I'm gonna get it right on top and just watch very carefully as to what happens. So what's going on when we put the cylinder there is that the, the flow can really no longer flow around the ball very well. So there's a, a buildup of pressure underneath it. And when the tube is constricted like this, then the buildup of pressure just shoots it out of the top like that. Let's interrupt the airflow on the top and see what happens. So we'll put it in the stream. And now I will put my hand on top. Everything looks normal, but as I bring my hand down without touching it, I'll be able to force the ball down. Notice how it's going closer and closer and spinning rapidly and finally it falls out there. So obviously when you constrict the flow of air around it, it pushes the ball down. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.